Hi everyone, uh, I'm back. So, like the video title say, we're gonna silo the beam. And um, what you need here, you will need a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse and an HDMI to Type-C cable. For HDMI and Type-C cable, it will work with 1080p uh, monitor and 1440p monitor as well. So that's my 1440p monitor. One thing with Bluetooth keyboard, so if your keyboard normally require you to put the pin in before it establish uh, the connection, it might not work in this case because for some reason the beam don't show the pin for the keyboard. So any keyboard that establish the connection right away once you click in the name, <coughs> sorry my voice, so it will work with that. One thing, if you have like a cable keyboard and a cable mouse then I won't cover in this video because the that scenario is more complex you will need a lot adapter I will put the link at the bottom below or maybe an, a description if uh, YouTube stopping me from putting it so any feature with the smooth follow or body anchor so that won't work once you open the application okay so that's something you have to keep in mind and I find an issue while I'm doing this as well is that uh, the Steam or, or the application they recognize the controller via the beam but when I try the input it's not working so I still have to find what's the issue here but other than that uh, streaming anything is still working fine but no Google service so you won't be able to uh, view YouTube or use any Google Play Store so we will need a separate Play Store to use with that okay so uh, once everything is reset then just wait for that one to get in and I believe we choose English. If you know other language, then you can choose it. If you don't know, then don't choose it. If we click English. It's gonna take some time for it to load. Um, and United States, agree. So now we put in our Wi-Fi. So once it's loading, so keep the, just click clicking the down button. It's gonna go to the instruction screen. You just keep clicking the down button. And then we quickly go to the Wi-Fi setting and turn off the Wi-Fi. Now we go to the Bluetooth setting and connect both your Bluetooth device. So keep in mind, uh, I'm not sure why. So if you connect the mouse first, it's gonna, you're gonna have hard time connecting the keyboard. So connect the keyboard first before you connect the mouse. Once that connect, uh, test the mouse. Okay, the mouse is working. The keyboard seems connected. So go back to your screen and in this case, hold down the window key and then click the end key, the nothing. The end for nothing. And that's gonna pull down and you click your mouse here, pull the notification center down, expand it. And now you do this process twice. Uh, go to the setting it's not gonna pop up but you try again go to the setting it's not gonna pop up again so um, just click close up and then the third time we go to the notification center again click this human icon here go to more setting it's not gonna pop up so so that more setting is not working. So what you do here, so we go to app guess. It's gonna add a new user in first and then, so um, once that is on, uh, you hold down the power button here. Hold down the power button until uh, the beam turn off okay the beam turn off entirely already and then uh, we hold out the power button again and 
the beam gonna reboot and turn on again. So it's weird. The power button is actually stay up here. I thought it's gonna be some like sensor, but it's not. Um, it's a really dumb thing for me to mm, don't know about, but yeah, it is there. So we just wait for this one to turn on and then we quickly turn off the Wi-Fi and uh, reconnect the Bluetooth and keyboard again and we uh, continue on the process. Okay, now I will quickly turn off the Wi-Fi. Quickly turn off the Wi-Fi. So my, um, my mouse is automatically connected. So I just connect my keyboard as well. Sometimes you have to reconnect the keyboard. For some reason, it won't recognize. I'm not sure if it's my keyboard or it's some... Mm, it's, yeah, I just have to reconnect the keyboard. I just connect it. Okay, once everything is in, the mouse is working. So hold the window key and the end to pull that one down. Go to that. Click users. So now there's a new guest is created. And from that, we can go to more setting and it's going to go to the, the setting. More setting. We just click close up. Sometimes we just have to do it again and again. But yeah, it's for sure. Usually it will work. More setting. So we click a few times, close out more setting. Then you gonna do is remove guest here. Just remove guest. Okay. We go back to the main screen and now the setting, we should be able to get access to the setting. Click the setting button here. Now we are in the setting. So that's the hardest part. Um, so we go to network and setting, click on the Wi-Fi, turn on it. And then we connect to our own Wi-Fi. It will automatically connect since we connected before. Uh, then once we get access to inside, we can just tackle it inside. CEO 21 apps and uh, lightning here. That one gonna be our browser. So we just click open the lightning and then now you should be able to gain access to the Wi-Fi. Aptoid TV. We just download it. Download Aptoid TV via Wi-Fi. Okay, sure. Um, so just click download it. Then it's starting to download in the background. Um, I can't seem to find the download tab in here. So properly we just wait for a while if it's not. So once that one is on, uh, we go click back, click back, click back until we go back to the setting. Then click back again, back again. And we go to app and notification again. Look for the file explorer and we open it. So go to internal memories, download. So there should be Aptoy TV, we just download here. Click it. So we go to the setting over here. Setting here. Allow from this source. Go back to the screen. And then we can click install it. And just click done. Don't open it, just click done first. Then we go back to the extrude beam. Just go back to the setting. And now, um, for we go to the about beam. The about beam have the build number below here at the bottom. Click the build number five times to become the developer. Then we go to system here, advanced. So there should be a developer option here. We click on that. 
So let's scroll down until almost the bottom. There should be the don't keep activities. So destroy every activities as soon as the user leaves it. We turn on that option. And okay. Now, once everything is finished, you can proceed on opening the Aptoid TV. So you go to the Aptoid TV, open it. So it will bring up the Aptoid TV. Now we are looking for a TV launcher. Oh, launcher. So just click it and install it. Allow from that source. And we go back from there. Just click go back. And then we click install it again. And it should install the application. Then we can uh, click done. We just go back to the setting. So just to be safe, um, we set this launcher as default. So um, you can go to uh, apps and notification, default apps. Then we click home app. We can keep the ATV launcher. So click the ATV launcher, then it will set this one as default for now. Uh, keep in mind that every single feature from uh, the beam like body anchor or um, lock screen screen locking thing so it won't work in this launcher but for now we will keep it here just to be safe so you go to app toy tv again you can download um prime video if you want to prime video install so uh, we can uh, download the netflix there Okay, so after we finishing installing the Netflix, then um, we can proceed on going back to the Eva launcher, which is from originally from the Beam to the Beam. So we just go to the setting, app and notification, default app, home app, Eva launcher. So uh, it will go back to originally the Beam. So whenever you hold down that button, it will go back to the beam itself over here. And the beam gonna create a small folder for application that you download before. So the Netflix gonna be here. Then you will be able to uh, use the Netflix with your beam. I think there's still a few um, problems. For example, your beam not able to connect uh, the Netflix here. You have to use your mouse button and sometimes your Bluetooth keyboard in order to type in the input. Um, yeah, some uh, some uh, because it's early stage, so not everything is compatible with the beam. So that's something you have to keep uh, in mind as well. And uh, that's everything. Thank you for watching. Hope this uh, video helped you. See you next time. See.